Last year, our sewer pipe from our house to the city sewer line collapsed. And since it was from our house to the city's uh, sewer line, it was our responsibility. So we went nine days without sewer. How did we survive? Stay tuned and I'll show you how. So let me introduce to you our survival toilet. It's basically a five gallon bucket with a toilet lid seat attached or that you set on top. You can use a, a piece of uh, foam that covers a pipe foam to cover a pipe that you put around the rim. You can use like a pull noodle, those little flotation devices, cut it in half or cut it down the middle and then put it around the outside of the rim and you can set on that. I like the toilet seat better. It's more comfortable than just setting on the rim of the bucket with the foam attached. Inside I keep everything I need when it's not in use which includes kitty litter, scoop, bleach and water, hand sanitizer, bolt paper and wipes, gloves, and the trash bags that you'll need. The trash bags I recommend are the eight gallon bags. They fit into the five gallon buckets perfect and you have just enough left over so it doesn't fall in when you pour in the kitty litter. So it's pretty self-explanatory but I'm going to show you anyway. Line your bucket with a trash liner or two trash liners, whatever you're most comfortable with, and then pour in your kitty litter. Kitty litter is great to have around the house, around the garage, shop, whatever. It's great for cleaning up spills. But once you put it in your bucket, you're ready to go. Set your lid on there, do your business, and as your business goes in, it clumps up, and it's easy to uh, remove the waste. Take it out to your garbage or your sanitation or wherever you take it. And dispose of it that way and you're done. You got your bleach and your water. Spray it down real good, put a new liner in, and you're ready to go again. I want to thank you guys for stopping by and joining me on such an unpopular subject. And it may not seem like a very big deal, this survival toilet. We could have got a hotel during this time, or we could have uh, stayed with family, but we decided to stick it out. We did as much work as we could for ourselves, and we saved some money, and I think we were better off uh, in the long run for the experience. Sometimes I think we spend more time prepping for an event that's not going to happen and not enough time on something that might occur. I hope you enjoyed the video. Come back again.